Son qui dit welcome back everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, this news that the continuation of Aisha Buhari hmm, matter when they take travel, go to Dubai, say in they go treat her neck pain. Then they carry our money, they go to Dubai, go treat their neck pain. When we say country don't scatter for their hands. Everywhere in Nigeria don't scatter for their hand. Asuro, they're not free patch Asuro again. Asuro don't already crumble. Aisha Buhari, they carry another man flights or plane, take travel, go do neck treatment. Nigerian people, see now why you don't tell Nigerian people, say Aisha Buhari gets neck pain. Whereas, now another thing, I carry Aisha Buhari go. By when in go. The headline exposed re reason President Buhari's wife Aisha traveled to Dubai. They're not going to tell you the truth. When I know say coronavirus day for grant, and then tell and say nobody will travel out of the country. Hmm? So if you travel, they're not going to allow you to fly. If you are tough, you won't fly, come up from Nigeria. Now, they don't come lie to Nigerian people again. Tell me how you go take trust this kind of people when they tell you, see, they get neck pain. Whereas, now, another thing that they go to buy, go do. Then they go to buy, go spend your money when they don't lose. I don't tell now before that APC and PDP people, including Aisha Buhari, all of them, Brother, every day by day, then they wake up in the morning. Early in the morning, they pray to their God how they want to destroy Nigeria. Finish. They're not very happy because they never fit to destroy this that country, rich ground. To their own, now to they pray to God how they want to finish Nigeria. Any time when they wake up in the morning, now their prayer be that. Where we want where we want to if, where we won't kill people, where we won't hide the money. Where we well, want to break our treasury, carry everything when they're inside there. Now, so APC and PDP that they pray for the downfall of that nation, what they call the zoo. They are not there to govern. Look at Aisha Buhari now. Tell you, say, in the good trick, neck pain. Today, we hear, see, not be neck pain. When Aisha Buhari, go treat. Hmm? Aisha Buhari, her daughter, what they call. Hanan won't marry to another person. So Aisha Buhari used the opportunity so that Nigerian people no go nyan too much. So that everybody go focus. Say Aisha Buhari go treat her next week. Whereas she go buy things when they want to do celebration of her daughter's marriage. Even recently, then say the Buhari, what they tell them, say the Buhari, don't go visit the Hanan, the family, I mean the Hanan husband, to be family. So, now the Hanan wedding, now him, the lady, what they call Aisha Buhari, the leaders of the Kabas. Now him, Aisha Buhari, go buy, Aisha Buhari, go buy things to prepare for her daughter's wedding. Nigeria on fire, then they carry our money, they go to buy. Shame not there for these people, I brother. Shame not there for APC and PDP, I. Shame not there for Aisha Boy, I. With all these things, when they happen in our country, she's still a travel. They go spend our money where they don't. Thief. So, brother, now Sahara reporters now confirm and say Aisha Boy is saying a lie, the woman lie. Nothing they do that woman. She just go spend on her money where they don't. Thief. From Oma, when a daughter won't take do wedding ceremony, in lie because you know if if if, if she talk different things, say she go buy something for her daughter, say Nigerian people will explode, say uh, social media will catch fire. That is why she tell and see she gets neck pain. But Sahara reporters now they confirm see nothing like neck pain. Make we read a little bit, we'll see how they take. Of this matter before we move on to other topics. I say Nigeria don't scatter for APC and PDP hand. Aisha Buhari 
they run up and down in Dubai. Tell me how you want to trust these kind of people. I will tell you something this way, another, another way, when then they go. Huh? And the 2023, they come. All of them want to become. Whereas they don't feel proof to us. One thing where they don't achieve since when they enter as governors and presidents. Some people, they blame ordinary Nigerians. Seeing that they, because of them, now him make them, they fail. Now him make them, now they do their projects. When you say the money, when they don't budget out for the project, give the governors, governors they don't chuck in up, spend the money. They, but then they blame some people like Nam the Kano, saying I make somebody like okay, but okay, they pass they blame Nam the Kano, saying I make a now I make a big day underdeveloped. Now tell okay, they pass you see, making shut up, making not blame anybody for his own personal failure. Nam the Kano, not in Nigeria, you can't say Nam the Kano, they disturb you, now I make you not do your projects. What Nam the Kano do you? So don't blame anybody for your own failure. Okay, see, Basel. A source reliably informs the reporters that Mrs. Buhari's travel was packaged to look like a health emergency in order not to rise abro for violating government's restriction on international flights due to the coronavirus. Now they don't lie, right? They be doing say people no go know. Make it not be like say she did violate government restriction, right? But she violated it, and now the thing now don't come out. So what is going to be Aisha Buhari's punishment for violating the government uh, restriction on international flights due to coronavirus? What is going to be Aisha Buhari's punishment now? Because Aisha Buhari now don't really violate it, even though say that they hide them now, they don't expose her. So they're supposed to question. Aisha Buhari and Ona Buhari were not a call. Fresh facts at the disposal of Sahara reporters have revealed that Nigeria's first lady, Aisha Buhari, who was said to have been flown to Dubai United Arab Emirates during the Salah break over a severe neck pain, may have had other motive for going to the Arabian country. It was reliably gathered on Monday that Mrs. Buhari actually flew to Dubai in a jet belonging to a billionaire Mohammed Andemi for the purpose of shopping for luxurious items in preparation for the wedding of her daughter Hanan. Dubai is a popular destination for Nigerians, especially the wealthy, class seeking quality and expensive items for personal use and or grand ceremonies. Before her trip abroad, President Muhammad Buhari is said to have met with the family of Hanan Fians for further arrangements and other processes forming part of the occasion to be put in place. A source reliably informs the reporter that Mrs. Buhari travel was packaged to look like a health emergency in order not to rise a bros for violating government position on international flights due to the coronavirus. The Nigerian government had on March 2020 banned international commercial flights to curtail the spread of coronavirus in the country. It was well planned. Her next doctor is in London, not Dubai. She traveled to shop for luxury items ahead of Hannah's wedding. So now don't hear him now. Not be me the talker. And not be me the talker. Hmm? So Aisha Buhari traveled to buy luxurious items for her daughter's wedding. I saw them talking. Brother, I say, not so. Then tell her. APC supporters called Tunubu Oshumola over attack. Now, we go down to other topics. Okay. 
They are not, there is no battle against Malami or Salami, whatever you know, they call these people. Do you understand? The yoga, there is no battle that Malami or Salami is battling anywhere in Nigeria. All the whole battle are nonsense. All the whole battle things are nonsense, brother. Now, I'm going to see uh, Buhari reveal how he could have used the army to overturn the opposition during election. Now, the army people, they don't do what they do, rig for their Buhari. The Buhari, what they call, is lit, you know. So, there is nobody revealing anything that is revealing. Why did they reveal that say, if for use army, they overturned the election. President Muhammad Buhari on Monday said, if not for the respect all Progressive Congress APC has for the country, it could have used the army, the police, and other security agencies to overrun the opposition People Democratic Party in the 2019 election. President Muhammad Buhari who stated this when he met with the Northeast Governance Forum and the security head at the Council Chamber. President Shafila Abuja said that his administration was doing its best to meet up with the aspiration of Nigerians despite the problems of resources and security it met when it come on board in When Buhari come on board in 2015, brother, the challenges when Nigerian people get has in the security matter, no get up to this level where we did. Now, since when Buhari on Abuari enter with APC people, they can't boost up the insecurity matter. They can't they pay more than the PDP people. And I know the PDP they pay less. That is why uh, the Boko Haram they're not to operate well in Nigeria. Now APC is paying them everything within their power to make sure see they retain Boko Haram and uh, all the whole uh, terrorist organization in Nigeria. Then they retain them. Now then they invite them come. Now then they invite them come. Now they don't bring Al-Qaeda come. That's still the same people. They invite these people come. Now that they talk see uh, when Buhari the position uh, 2015, when they come in 2015, he uh, now is more better than 2015 when in common. So we now understand that kind of uh Buhari and his group then they pay I've been an APC people when we won't call them then they pay the terrorist to make sure see they retain them so make sure see that the terrorists when Boko and not come off for that Nigeria you understand so now so all of them, they walk. All right. Boko Haram investigation allegations against Maurice Femi Kan Fani Kayode. Boko Haram investigation against Maurice Fani Kayode. Femi Fani Kayode, a former minister of aviation, has called on an investigation into allegations against the Muslim right consign. The Islamic group was accused of receiving money from states from Islamic states for West African profit. Oh, not here soon. Oh, not here. Now, this Islamic group, this group now they call M-O-U-R-I-C, Morris, then they collect money from the Islamic State of West African Province, ISWAP, when the terrorist organization. When I see the way when the North they take the sponsor or they play with terrorism, 
So anybody, when one tell you, say, or of any president of that country, or governor, even Governor Zulum, even the governor of Bonu State, I think that man named like Governor Zulum or whatever they call the man, the man himself cannot stop Boko Haram. Buhari cannot be able to stop Boko Haram. APC cannot stop. They are not stopping anything. Because they cannot come and tell us, say, then they stop Boko Haram. Whereas, then we come out in the other week, they tell us, say, they won't reintegrate them. Or then they, spoil, you know, they won't send them, go abroad, go, go school. So, they are not fighting any Boko Haram. Even when they tell us, say, I'm a kill, I'm a kill, I'm a kill. Now, why you? I mean, not a kill any Boko Haram people. They are saving them. They are friends. They are partners in crime. They work together. Hmm? Uh -huh. So that they tell you now, see, some Islamic group they call Morris, then collect money from the ISWAP people. ISWAP, the terrorist organization in Nigeria. However, Morris director, Professor Isaac Akintola, denied receiving any money from any terrorist group in or outside Nigeria. These kind of people are not being done as a post group. These people now, when Femi Fani Kayo did it, uh, the talk, see them go collect money from the Islamic uh, group of West Africa, that is ISWAP, mm -hmm. or Islamic State of West Africa. However, I won't call them, call them brother. But if you want to sit down for a house, then the program say you go carry money from Dubai, you go carry money from here, you go carry from Jamaica, you go carry from uh, everywhere in the world. When you want to take over to Buhari, he go carry money from terrorist organization. Then come see none they can't do this, none they can't do that. But they don't feel proof nothing, no evidence or whatsoever. But these people, when they not us, then they do a guru guru. Now then they invite these people come. Now. The man now nah, they deny just like all those politicians. Anytime when you see them chop money, they say they're not chop. They don't catch them. Evidence deal. Because say that they do a quick Then with the people when they prove them, they go downplay the whole game. Then you see, see no more proof. Mm? Because those people, when they prove them, all of them don't compromise. Hmm? Now that, now, that, now that one be this so reacting Femi Fani Kayode on Twitter urged the federal government to investigate the allegation against Morris. Now so the matter when consign these people view Aisha Buhari now they tell us Aisha Buhari see neck not the pain her. She lied to Nigerian people. See neck the pain her. Make sure for beat the restriction. On travel ban. Make you forbid the restriction of travel ban when they don't give everybody say make another travel no. Now you don't beat them. Now they don't catch them now. See that is they say they don't expose them now. We go take a look now. All of us they they leave the watch waiting will be the Aisha Buhari one for violating the ban. Good then Nigerian people say in neck pain, whereas nothing like that. One love everybody. I see me could not subscribe if you get anything when one young regarding this program, brother. Honyana, no waste time. Yan with all your hearts. We want the yan with our hearts right here. One love, everybody. From Canada. Funky D.